Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a Marvel DVD and Blu-ray limited edition collectors, versions and variants. And I'll be having a look at the movie Marvel's Avengers, also known as Avengers Assemble here in the UK. Now I'll probably just refer to it as Avengers from here on out because this is what it's known mostly throughout the world. And I'll be having a look at a lot of the versions that are available of this movie. Now normally with these videos I'll actually go through some of the... Um, versions that I haven't got at the end of the video but I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time because I actually want to talk about them a little bit so initially I want to go through some of the versions I don't have and then I'll have a look at the actual versions that I do have just after this and the reason I wanted to do that so there's one particular item that I wanted to sort of really talk about now in France there's a retailer called FNAC I'm not sure if you, you pronounce it that or you just pronounce it FNAC and and they had a, a box set that was exclusive to them now the difference with this one is it wasn't you didn't actually buy it as a box set with the DVD included. So before the Avengers actually came out, what you would do, you would go into this retailer and you would pre-order this this DVD or this sort of special edition, and you would receive this this pre-order box set. Now inside of that, it was quite a large box set. It was quite quite nice nice artwork on the outside, and inside there was four uh, miniature figures. And they were kind of made of uh, like a, a metal sort of material. Uh, four figures of it, of the uh, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor and Hulk. Now, one of the issues I have with this, these are actually the same figures that, you, that, the, that were available in the Marvel figurine magazine that came out. And this is one of the issues why I have a, a problem with this particular set. Because it doesn't really have anything that's uh, specifically made for the set aside from the actual box itself. So anyway, you've got these four figures, and they actually they actually were housed in like these little cardboard boxes, exactly the same as you got with the, the actual Marvel magazine. You've got a hardback uh, Avengers book. Now, this book was also available in the US in the um, Best Buy box set. However, the book actually avail was available to buy before this set came out anyway. So again, it's not something that was specifically made for this box set. Uh, then you also had some um, some character sheets with some like a profile of each character. You had a reproduction poster, and um, you had a reprint of a comic, the Avengers first comic. And what you also had in there was a, a voucher. And what you would do when the actual film came out, you would take this voucher in and claim the actual D, uh, sorry, the Blu-ray itself. And then what you would do, you could put the Blu-ray into this box set. Now, the, 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 a couple of issues I had with this, and this is going to depend on how picky you are with your with your sort of collecting and things like that. So the actual set would have, it would have come sealed. So to actually put the DVD inside it, you would have had to unseal it. So that's the first thing. Otherwise, it's simply a box set without any any sort of um, Blu-ray or DVD in the actual box itself. So you have to have it unsealed to actually put the DVD or Blu-ray inside the actual box. Second thing is to 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 really have this set complete, you 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 can't trade in the voucher, so you'd have to buy the really the the, uh, the DVD or Blu-ray itself and then put it in your box set. So you have obviously the whole lot in there. You have the whole set, um, including the voucher, and obviously have to buy the um, the Blu-ray separately. And that's the only way really you, you're going to get this thing absolutely 100% complete. So most people who were, who would have bought it originally probably would have traded in that voucher to get the actual Blu-ray. So chances are, if you were to buy it second-hand, you probably won't have that voucher. Now, as I say, this really depends on how picky you want to be with it, because a lot of people may not be too fussed with this voucher. Um, but to, for me, I, I, I would want it 100% complete. So I'd want it either sealed, that has never been used, or I'd want it where someone has not traded in the voucher and simply bought the, the Blu-ray separately. Uh, it's quite a nice looking box. It's probably the most ex expensive uh, Avengers item that you can actually get. Um, it goes for the, the cheapest I've seen it for is around that sort of two hundred pound mark, but it can, I've seen it up to around five hundred pounds. So it, it's not the cheap. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. Now I, I do have a couple of issues with it, partly because, as I say, a lot of the actual items that are, that are in there, I think, are, are just stuff that, that are pulled from other sources. It's not stuff that's specifically made for the the actual set itself and i kind of have a problem with that because to me it feels a little bit cheap um and also the fact that obviously you, you can't really you can't have one of these sealed with the blu-ray inside uh, otherwise if it, it, it is sealed it simply doesn't have the blu-ray in there in which case is it really a blu-ray collectible in the first place 
So um, I, I have a couple of issues with this this particular item. Now I, I, I may well get it at some point, but it's obviously uh, very expensive, and the fact that I have a couple of issues with it, I, I may or may not decide to get it. But I'll obviously include it in here as well. Um, now the other other ones that I as are on the subject of ones I don't have, so I'll run through a couple of these. Uh, the next one I don't have is in in the US. Uh, the retailer Target had an exclusive, and what they actually had, they had an exclusive. Uh, disc which had a 90 minute documentary now that was available in other countries and in different formats but in the US it was a Target exclusive and um, but what Target actually had as well is they had a slightly different sleeve so you actually had um, kind of the Shield members Nick Fury, Black Widow and Hawkeye in a sort of separate picture compared to the rest of the team which isn't available in any other format I don't think so that really that that to me is not so much the disc as such because that's available on, on other countries in plenty of different formats. But the actual sleeve itself is is something which is um, exclusive, and I'll probably get that at some point. Uh, the next one I'll talk about uh, in the US, there was a a, a I think the 3D version actually came with a lenticular sleeve, and it's it's the sort of uh, the, the again the picture of the team and. Now, technically, I, I think I actually have this one, but it's included in a box, as I'll come on to a bit later. So I may well get this one again at a later date, just so I have the, the Solus version. Uh, it's really just the standard DVD. Certain retailers, you can actually, you actually got a steel book with it as well, um, but I think you can just have it as, the, as just basically a slip cover. And then, then finally, the ones that I don't have, I actually do have a version, as I'll come on to in just a second, uh, but this is basically the, a version that came with a reproduction comic. Now, this is, I believe, was an exclusive to Walmart in the US. Now, there is a UK version of this, but it's slightly different, so I'll come on to that in a second. Most notably, the actual artwork on the, the actual Blu-ray itself. The English version is actually a DVD rather than a Blu-ray. In the US version, it's a Blu-ray and it has different artwork. So, that wraps up to the ones I don't have, so let's talk about the ones that I do have. So, we'll start off with the kind of the, the, the regular release. And this is actually a, a US version. Now, the US version compared to the UK version has something different in regards to extras. So this actually has the commentary on it. The UK version was launched a little bit earlier than the US version, and there was no commentary on it. So this one is actually, um, as I say, the American Blu-ray with slipcover. And unlike the UK version, it has commentary. So this is the UK uh, version. This is the the 3D edition. Now I don't know how well it will show up on the on the actual camera here, but you've kind of got a slightly metallic looking sleeve to it. Now, like sorry, I said this one doesn't have the got the commentary on it. So you've got your slipcase there. So that is your 3D Blu-ray. Now. As I said, uh, in the US, you had the Target exclusive with the uh, additional disc. In the UK, that version was actually in um, a retailer called Sainsbury's, which is a supermarket. So that this one actually has the, this is the version that has the 90-minute documentary uh, in the UK version. Now, again, it has an exclusive sleeve with it as well, but this sleeve is different from the US version. So if I found for money in regards to the UK, this is probably the one to get. If you weren't a, a, a huge collector of just different versions, you could say this one actually had probably the best content on it. Now, <clears throat> in the UK, they're probably the most collectible thing really is still books. So this is the Avengers Assemble still book. Now, there are quite a lot of variants of this still book um, throughout the world. They have slightly different versions of the, the disc in there, like 3D version, you know, just a Blu-ray, etc. And also the titles can be slightly different, but um, this is the UK version. So this was a this was a, a exclusive to a retailer called HMV, and there you go. So I think the American version actually has the Avengers name print printed on the actual uh, steelbook itself. So um, again, that's something to possibly get. There are, as I say, there are different versions of this. And I have another version which is a uh, European version. It's actually a Nordic one. Not a lot of difference, obviously, apart from you've obviously got the Avengers rather than Avengers Assemble. So we'll just open this one up. This one actually, ironically, has the 90-minute the extra disc with it as well. Right. Next couple, I think, are quite cool. 
So this is a Japanese version. Or this is actually a three disc version of the Blu-ray. And again, you've got a significant, significantly different cover on this one. Um, now there's actually quite, I'll put, try and put a, a close up of this. Black Widow has got, is pulling quite an amusing expression on this cover. It's obviously photoshopped, uh, but it's quite a nice picture. Um, significantly different from the other versions. Not a special edition as such, but just a variant in covers. But it's actually quite difficult to get hold of. I actually had to have this imported from Japan. So there's that one. What you also have in the Japanese launch is the uh, the four disc version, which is actually the 3D Blu-ray, with a different cover again. Now this was one of the promotional posters that sort of came out in Japan, and I think actually quite like it. So you've got all the uh, Avengers in their sort of civilian uh, sort of selves at the bottom here. Then at the top you've got. Um, the Avengers in their kind of obviously superhero costumes. Interestingly, this poster actually came out before pictures of the Hulk were revealed. So he's actually blacked out. So you can't actually see what he looks like on this one because this artwork came out before any images of the Hulk were officially launched. So there you go. Again, not a, not a, a collected edition as such, but it's just a standard version in Japan. But you don't really see them all that pop up in the, in the West so much. So I, again, I had to have this imported from Japan. So I, I mentioned the US version of this one a little earlier on. So in the UK, we have a uh, supermarket called Asda. Now it's actually owned by the same group that owns Walmart in the US. So it stands to reason that they'll have the, the English version of this. So again, it comes with the same custom uh, reprint of the Avengers comic. Um, but this one comes with the, uh, the DVD rather than Blu-ray and obviously a different, different actual artwork on there. There you go. Quite a fun little package, that one. Probably one of the rarer items you'll pick up uh, is this one. So this is a uh, exclusive to Brazil of all places. So rather than a steel book as such, it's actually a, a quite a large tin. Um, now, it's obviously sealed up, so I can't actually open it up for you. And... Um, I think you get uh, some art cards or something in there as well. Now, if you look at the box, it's actually quite large. So I can put it next to a blue way to give you some comparison here. But this one's relatively expensive. It does pop up here and there, but obviously it is an exclusive to Brazil. So chances are you're going to be paying a reasonable amount for it. Okay. So uh, the US retailer Best Buy had this box set. So this looks the similar is the picture here is similar to the one that's on the uh, the FNAC one in the in the in France sorry. Uh, now I don't think this one actually came out for launch. I don't remember seeing this at all uh, when it was out on launch. Only a little while after. But this one you've actually got an illuminated display. So you press that and it all lights up. And that's actually lenticular as well. Although I don't know how well that will show up. Um, this one you can get for not too expensive actually. So. Um, Really is a sort of a similar version to the, the, the FNAC one that was in the uh, US. Now, obviously, I mentioned, obviously, you've got that, 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 that slip case that's available on its own with an anticular sleeve. That's the one there. So that's kind of, uh, in a way, I actually have that. Now, interestingly, here you have this Sideshow gift card as well. So that's something that you obviously, to keep it complete, you won't need to, you know, you can't cash in. It has the, uh, the same um, sort of annual, the uh, Little Avengers Guide thing that, you, again, you'll get in the FNAC box set. And again, you could have bought, you could buy this separately as well. And you've also got a litho card in there as well. It's quite a nice little set. Um, fairly, fairly heavy, that one. Uh, one of the sort of the, the coolest ones, I think, is this one. Now, this is a French box set. Now, this one's exclusive to France. And you get, it's quite a big one. Again, I'll put it next to a Blu-ray so you can sort of see the scale. And you actually get four figures of this one so you get the principal cast you get captain america iron man hulk and thor but the difference is they're not actually just figures they're they are actually toys and do have a, a points of articulation um so in theory you could get, get out and actually play with these so normally you get like statues and stuff of these but this one is, it is actually toys so this is um you get the, the 3d blu-ray standard blu-ray dvd and the four figures now, if you ever, um, if you're example, you, you want, you're looking for stuff like this, um, the, the French word for box set is coffret. So if you, if you're looking for, for international stuff, and France, they, they tend to have quite a lot of good stuff. 
type in cough rat rather than box rat and you'll get all sorts of good stuff turn up. Not strictly part of, uh, not strictly an Avengers release necessarily, but this is the phase one box set. Um, now this one, if I can just show you, it does actually kind of light up. I'll just show you a little bit dark. So this one had a bit of an interesting history as well. Now mine's sealed up, so I'm not going to be able to open this up for you, but I'll try and put a couple of pictures to show the insides. So this was actually a, this is actually a 10 disc, um, six movie collection. So this is the entire phase one catalog, Iron Man one and two, Captain America, um, the Incredible Hulk, Thor, um, and the Avengers. And it was, it's, it's meant to be the, the design of the suitcase that was, that Nick Fury used to move around the Tesseract, but the actual makers of the, of the proper, um, suitcase sort of blocked an illegal action but they, they marvel apparently didn't get permission to reproduce this so they actually had to change the design of this so it came out a lot later um just so i actually haven't opened this up but you get a replica tesseract inside uh, and what's cool about this one you actually get um all the films they all, they all have exclusive exclusive sleeves uh that are, that are only obviously available in this particular set plus you get dossiers and lots of different paperwork there are some ex sort of exclusive footage, like previews of the, like the Phase 2 stuff that's coming out. But to be honest, you can see them on the, on YouTube anyway, so it's not all that of a, of a big whoop, to be quite honest. Um, it's quite a nice set. It's available from Amazon, I think, and it's still available on there at the moment. It makes you think, obviously, we're going to get something similar for Phase 2 and then Phase 3 as well. So save up those pennies. So that is all the versions of the Avengers or Avengers Assemble that I have uh, and a couple of that I don't have. There are some sort of minor variants and things like the Steelbook and stuff like that. But if, if you do know of any sort of major differences or major ones that I haven't mentioned, please do me, leave me a comment and let me know what it is. Also, make sure you should check out the rest of my Marvel DVD and Blu-ray videos, of which I've got quite a few and I've still got a couple more to do. So check them out and subscribe to our channel. I uh, hope to see you soon. See you later.